there's a lot of times where a few people ask me, you know, where I come from and what my history was and where I grew up, and you know, I didn't have the, those answers. I felt lost. I had to find out about my background, about my family history, and that's very important to me. I'm proud of my heritage, proud of my family. To know what I do now, it's, it makes you feel whole. Fighting out of Penrith, New South Wales, Australia. I feel like a complete person now. My brother, mother and father are really tight. And especially my brother and I, you know, we always kind of I was always that shadow behind him, like it was all wherever he went, I was always there, you know. And then wherever I go, he was always there to pretty much, you know, he had to hold my hand sort of thing. <laughs> I have a little nephew, um, baby Jamie. Just, you know, spend much much time as they can with him, you know, he's he, he just, you know, he's going through, he's three years old and he's he's learning learning things so fast now and he's a little little tank, this kid, he's, you know, he's, he's got a knack for fighting too. <laughs> going through uh, primary school and high school, I was always uh, the smallest kid, having an interest in boxing and, and martial arts, Bruce Lee moves and that. I wanted to learn self-defense, you know, because I was such a, a small person for my age when I was uh, 14 years old. We came across a, a boxing gym around the corner. We went down there, just all began from there. Right on from there to kickboxing, to jiu-jitsu, to wrestling, and then started MMA. I was addicted to it. I had to learn more and more and more, you know, nothing was gonna stop me. It wasn't until I started training with Mark Hunt, it, there wasn't many people that were training mixed martial arts in, in New South Wales and in Australia. So we would get together and I would help him out and he'd help me out and and then going over to Japan and seeing them compete in Pride really opened up my eyes. Came back home and I just put my head down, man. I had a goal. I set that goal and nothing was going to stop me. Right now it's time to preview our night's co-main event. Ninth ranked light heavyweight and former UFC champion Mauricio Shogun who has a tough test in front of him tonight with James Tejuna. He's a guy with a lot of power in his hands. He's won 10 of his last 12 fights. What does he need, need to do to get past the former champion? Tejuna is a tremendous fighter. He's also very explosive in that stand-up realm. I think for success tonight he needs to go out and be himself. He needs to go out and punch and kick but he also needs to be able to expect to get hurt a little bit. We saw him get hurt against uh, Jim Owen walked through it. We saw him get in a tough spot with Glover Teixeira and it kind of checked him out. He needs to keep his composure and just go out and fight. This fight for me, for Tahuna, it means it's all about believing. He's going to now step up against a guy who's a legend, the guy who probably watched a long time when he was trying to come up in his career, and now he has to fight that guy. My last fight against Shogun, I got knocked out. I went out there thinking I was going to knock him out. I was, I was confident. I was, um, I was in great shape. You know, he, he called me first. Could have been another way around, but he got me. It took me 10 years to build my pride up through my fighting career, and I had that crush underneath me within like a minute. So it was, um, it was, it was hard to get over. I did, you know, afterwards, afterwards when I came back home, I don't want to go outdoors. I was embarrassed. Uh, more about my performance and the way the, the fight ended. I've recovered from that loss from going back to New Zealand, visiting my um, home country, learning more about my family side. It didn't make me feel like a whole person. I came back to Sydney. I had a clear head. I knew what needed to be fixed. I just started going back to work. My move to middleweight is to try and reinvent myself. You know, the last year, last 12 months haven't been too, too well for me. Um, three fights that I've had, I've only won one. And I barely just got through that fight. Colorado presenting the former's
Red Porsche Welterweight Champion, Nate the Great Mark Nate's uh, nickname is Nate the Great, and he's got that for a reason. He's a world-class fighter. He's tough. He's he's been at the top. Nate with the takedown. Nice takedown. He's gonna be hard to beat. He's not a safe fighter. He might go out there, go out there, play it safe just to win the fight. He goes out there, just like me, puts it all, all out on the line, and tries to get that one really, really quick. Nate the Great Mark and it is all over! He's aggressive, I'm aggressive. We don't, we don't like to take a, a backward step. Any kind of mistake that he makes, I'm going to take advantage of it. I need to win this fight. Headlining the very first UFC event in New Zealand. It's a dream come true for me. And to be fighting in front of my people in, uh, in my home country, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. I can't wait to go out there and, and put on a show for the fans. Two explosive athletes, two guys that don't like to step backwards, two guys that need this win. The fans are in for fireworks, man. It's going to be pretty crazy out there. So uh, don't blink. My name is James Tahuna and I'm a UFC fighter.